Hey there everybody, this is Piper here, and today we're playing Mountain Blade Warband. So this video is going to be about some of the, the equipment that I think are the best in the game. So we're going to look at my setup for my female campaign. This is a setup I, I used for the bulk of the, the Empress achievement and the Golden Throne achievement. So it took a while to get to this uh, level, but... Check out the Lordly Vagarly armor. Now this is a really powerful armor. Uh, you get plus 58 on the body armor and plus 22 on the leg armor. And there are some that are better. For example, um, I managed to pick up the reinforced plate armor. And that's 59 and 21. So it's slightly better on the, the body armor. If that was Lordly, it's probably going to be higher. But the key thing here is... If you check out the weight of the elite armor, it's only fifth, it's only twenty five. The plate armor is twenty seven, so the plate armor actually weighs more. And you're gonna find in game that's gonna it's gonna slow you down a little bit, not that much, but you will find having the lighter armor it's gonna make you faster and more maneuverable. So that's one of the reasons why I actually prefer this armor to some of the bear armors. This is a um, very, very good armor and fairly light because you have basically a metal plate over hardened leather. So that's really, really good. So I'd recommend if you find this armor, definitely pick it up. Uh, reinforced plate boots, plus 37. I think there are some that are 39 in the game. I never actually bothered to actually look for them, but they're really good. Um, obviously, lordly great uh, helmet. That's really good and spirited Saranian warhorse now um yeah this is probably the best horse in the game uh, the Saranid horses are really really good almost equal to the war horses probably better in fact we have a heavy war horse here uh, the armor is much better um speed is better bearing in mind this is actually spirited so it's slightly better in the stats uh, more maneuverable and slightly better in the charge as well the only thing is, not as many hit points, but you have the, the higher armor stat there, so it is a much better horse. Uh, weapons. I've fought a lot of battles on horseback in the game, so I've always preferred sabers. Um, I like sabers because you can do a lot of damage on the horseback. They're very, very fast, and they're fairly powerful on the damage. You see here it's 36C, so it's 36 cutting. And also another thing is weight 1.5, so it's fairly light. So we've got a balanced military cleaver here, and they're also pretty good as well, uh, but they're slightly slower on the the attack, and slightly uh, shorter as well. So if you're on horseback a lot and you want a, a good weapon, you can pick up the some sort of spear. Um, I've preferred the saber. Because it's just uh, it's so versatile, you can use it in all situations. Um, shield, okay, shield could be improved. Um, obviously, it is important to have a shield, but not that important. Um, so, I've gone with uh, a Kurgit Bow, Masterwork Kurgit Bow. Uh, I think in the game, arrows are much better than crossbow. So that's really, really good. You see here, it weighs 1.3. Fairly good in the damage and accurate and fast. The only thing with the Kurgit bow is it requires quite a high powerful draw. So see, it says there it requires power draw 7. So you will have to upgrade that stat a fair amount to use this bow. But it is worth it. Especially on in the game if you're taking over castles. Um, there will be certain parts of the castle that will be a bit further away. So... If you can attack uh, enemy archers at those locations with the bow, it will actually help you a lot. And gone with the large bag of bodkin arrows, mainly because it's plus you in the damage. So these arrows are pretty good. You can get some Kurgit arrows that are plus three as well. It doesn't really matter, it just it says plus three, so it's going to be pretty uh, powerful. So that was my setup there. It's basically a very good setup, very versatile. Um, 
works in all situations. The saber is fairly long and fairly fast. Using the horseback pretty well. So highly recommend it. Uh, and definitely uh, check out the the Lordly Vega Lee armor. It's, it's very, very good. So you can see here, this is a close-up of the Lordly Vega Elite Armor. And just check out the, the shoulder pads there. Uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, I don't know any of the other armors that have the shoulder pads like that. But it's really cool. It reminds me of the film called Riddick. And that was with uh, Vin Diesel. It's kind of similar to that army, that, that sort of armor. Uh, it looks like some sort of cat's head or a tiger's head. But they're on the shoulders, and this is one of the best armors in the game, stats-wise. So we have that armor, we have the thick great helmet, and the spirited Saranid, Saranid horse, rather. So that's a really good setup. Um, again, just looks really, really good. Uh, I love the, the Vega armor, uh, just really, really good. So as soon as you find this in the game, I would highly recommend picking up because it is one of the best armors in the game in my opinion. So thanks for watching the video. Um, hope you guys have learned what some of the best armor is, some best equipment and you can maybe utilize it in your campaign or if you're quite fancy finding that Vega armor, uh, definitely uh, spend time trying to find it. Uh, I found it over in the eastern side, I think it was like um, down here somewhere. It can vary, but definitely pick up the pick up the Vega armor and pick up the spirited Saranian warhorse. So if you ever see these two, definitely pick them up because they're they're really powerful and obviously the armor looks amazing. So thanks again for watching. Uh, definitely stay tuned for more videos. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And this is Piper signing off.